You might have seen these wires on top of towers above the high voltage power lines. So, what's the need of these wires when we already have phase wires for the transmission of electric power? Well, these wires are either OPGW or earth wire or shield wire. First, we explain the earth wire or shield wire, sometimes also referred as sky wire. Earth wire is used for the protection of main high voltage power transmission lines from environmental effects such as lightning strokes. In absence of earth wire, if a lightning stroke hits the high voltage power lines directly, high fault currents will travel through the power lines all the way to the substation from where these lines are emanating. Such lightning strikes may result in insulation failure of lightning arresters, transformer and other electrical equipment. We definitely won't want such situation to occur as it will result in power breakdown apart from the heavy financial implications due to damage of costly electrical equipment. So there must be some protection to ensure the safety of the power transmission lines and other electrical equipment inside substations from such lightning strokes. Earth fire is used to provide this protection. Earth wire is installed above and parallel to the face lines and is placed at top of the tower structure. Unlike the face conductors that are isolated from the tower through disc insulators, the earth wire is connected to each tower of the transmission line and each tower is properly grounded using earth rods of specifications as per international standards. Normally, up to 220 kV transmission line voltage levels, there is a single earth wire used, while on 500 kV and above voltage levels, there are normally two earth wires installed on the towers. In case of lightning stroke, the strike directly hits the earth wire first. The earth wire will pass the high voltage surges to the ground using the tower and will protect the transmission line and its accessories including disc insulators from damage. The earth wire is composed of steel strands wrapped around each other. Normally there are 7 strands in earth wire. Now we explain OPGW. OPGW stands for optical ground wire. OPGW has been designed to replace traditional earth wire with the addition of provision of telecommunication and control services for the grid stations as well. OPGW performs the following two functions. Protection of high voltage power lines from lightning strokes. Provision of telecommunication services between generating stations, substations and load dispatch centers through the use of high speed fiber optic technology. OPGW are designed to withstand high electrical and mechanical stresses. For example, OPGW must be able to withstand mechanical stresses due to different environmental conditions such as wind and ice. Similarly, OPGW must also be capable enough to handle electrical faults and pass them safely to the ground without causing any damage to the fiber etc. Now we explain the construction of OPGW. OPGW consists of different layers for the protection and safety of the optical fibers. At the center of OPGW, there is FRP rod. FRP stands for fiberglass reinforced plastic. FRP works as a central strength member. The purpose of FRP is to provide support to the fibers and improve the overall strength of the fiber optic cable. FRP is a high performance composite material using fiberglass as the reinforcing material. The advantage of FRP is that it provides almost same tensile strength as steel with just about 30% of the steel weight. FRP is not only a good corrosion resistant material but also has excellent electrical insulation properties. After FRP rod, there comes the main component of OPGW, that is optical fiber. These optical fibers are capable to transmit data at very high speeds that is used for data communication, control and protection purposes for electrical utilities. These optical fibers are insulators and immune to induction, external electrical noises etc. Optical fibers use light as a medium for transmission of data. These optical fibers are inserted into plastic tubes. Each tube can contain 8 to 48 optical glass fibers. These plastic tubes are filled with gel which is used to prevent the penetration of water and moisture inside the optical fibers. In case of a large number of optical fibers, up to 144 multiple tubes are used. These tubes along with the FRP rod are then covered with water blocking yarn and tape. These water blocking and water swellable yarn and tape prevent the progression of water inside the cable. The whole setup is then protected with thermal protection tape that has the ability to absorb the increased temperature. These layers are then fitted inside an aluminium tube that provides strength and safety to the optical fibers. This aluminium tube is a good conductor of electricity. The tube is then covered with either aluminium strands or aluminium clad steel strands. The number of these strands vary according to the requirements. Normally there are 11 steel strands in OPGW. 
These aluminum or aluminum clad steel strands are good conductors of electricity and provide protection to the phase wires in case of lightning strokes by passing the surge voltages to the ground. These strands basically perform the same function as the earth wire. OPGW is connected to the control room in substation through the splice box installed on the tower inside the substation. Inside the control unit or receiver side, the data transmitted by optical fibers in the form of light pulses is converted back to radio signals for further use for protection and control purposes. Now we explain some of the advantages of OPGW. OPGW enables substations to communicate with each other without any dependency on external telecommunication service providers. Optical fibers are immune to electromagnetic induction. Therefore, these fibers transmit data without any interference from radio signals. OPGW can transmit data over very long distances up to 80 km without requiring the use of repeaters. The installation cost of OPGW per kilometer is lower than that of an underground cable. OPGW safely transmits data without any danger of damage in case of excavation unlike underground cables that can be damaged during excavation works. Hopefully you liked this video. Keep in touch for more such videos.